Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. We're back. I think no, I know the place back. where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Hey, I gave his wife a tap. I said all's fair in love and war. See what kind of people we can see what kind of laws we can enforce today. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady. Oh, Rusty. This tank. guy's name is Rusty. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. What up, dude? I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Yeah. Fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Henderson. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for so that you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, but the greatest scientific investigators are our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. <clears throat> you don't seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? Okay. Oh, another naked one. Similar remote. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. 
they were married, they'd be at home, not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Do you mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. What's this mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Looks like she was tied up. It does it first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Hmm. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R&I? Back in a second. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> another day, another dollar. Yeah, that's what you said, dude. No, it's over here. Detectives. R&I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? All rusty behind. It sucks, anyways. Still might be some play. Breathe, Phelps. Breathe, damn it. There still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If he doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging. about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? You know, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Seventh and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, Seventh and Olive, a 211 in progress and shots fired. Get her to handle code three, identify. Oh, nice. Get the fuck out of the way. I'm coming through. So much cooler than you.
What's the situation? Half a dozen shooters, sir. Cold-blooded sons of bitches. Real professionals. What do you mean? Witnesses say they bounced in, aced the guards, and went straight downstairs. Christ knows who they're working for, but whatever's in that vault, they want it bad. Take the wrong bank to rob my Block the goddamn stairs. Detective, take the elevator. All right, I'll wait here. Don't give them a chance to regroup. Wish me luck. Ah! Buddies upstairs are dead. That leaves you, pal. Long time to run out of ammo. You're fucking out! There he is! Blast him! You're moving! Just you and me! You can live to tell the tale! That's it! That's all of them! Car 11K. Shots fired, suspects are down. We're code four here, but I need an ambulance at Bank of America. Seventh and Olive. Notify coroner and detective headquarters. Roger on your ambulance, 11K. All units, code four on the 211 and Bank of America. Code four. What's up, buddy? 
You wanna go get me a beer? Thank you. You're gonna have to reach, okay? Yeah, or 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 a brown one, that's fine too. Can you get it? Good job, buddy. Sure. Here, baby. Here. Do you want, do you want to go throw it away for me? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. Yep. Can it's you been put out it in the white one? Mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. Partner will explain everything when he gets back, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Nope. Work boots. Size eight. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. No sign of a wedding ring. About mommy, daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? I never paid much attention to that stuff. I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, the yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. They had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Yes, baby boy. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday no, afternoon. Drink your water. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. 
And they always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What gives? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Because you have size 8 work boots. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size 8s. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. <laughs> you phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around nine. Well, buddy, uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me. What'd you What'd you find? Did your wife ever go out by herself? Right back. To bars, nightclubs. Well, buddy, where are Sorry about that. No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You're suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. So you were here all night? You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, goddammit. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You got to be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on it. This is an outrage! I didn't kill my wife! Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Detective! Yes, ma'am? I heard the terrible news over the radio. 
And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. There he is, officer. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... What's home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncles? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Galloway, Homicide Division, badge number five. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Go ahead, Detective Unit. Did we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at one I need an address on a Belmont Street. High School. We send someone Checking down to Juvenile detective. Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, Roger. 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks for your help. That broad has socks in it, Lucia. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Police board downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. So whip a shitty and come on here. You're gonna kill us! I did not. No, you didn't see anything. <laughs> I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband. Oh, what's up? Always going? make the husband, Phelps. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives. Here's a question day. for you to Lex you guys are watching. Uh, what? <clears throat> the law do you, of parsimony. Do you think Occam's razor? The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. Do you I'll try think to dumb things down from now on. That appreciate it. And try this one on for size. Do you think that in most in most I mean, if you find if you find a wife dead. Over. We have to go. Do you think do. most of those are the husband did it? Like are you, are you with Rusty on this one? You're going on another drive with Davy Gardner. Where aren't you think you? that most most people so what if I am? it's most most of the time it's Go, the husband. Phelps, I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Okay, so you say no, what about Andrew, what about you, buddy? Car 11K, Car 11 King, come in. 
11K, go ahead. 11K, see the janitor. A green 1946 coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and playing field. 11K, code 2. What's your name? Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. <laughs> You're under arrest, Eli. You're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Hugo Muller. So, okay, bitch, here you go. Here's a question for you then. If you don't think it's mostly the husband, who would you say? Do you think they're isolated incidents? Or do you think it's more... Do you think they're isolated? Or do you think they're more... I don't know, just... Phelps, badge 1247. Like something happened personally. How can I help, detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thank you. <clears throat> That's the guy from the papers. Saw that big case. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. So far, that's what I think as well. Um, go here. Let me go all the way up. He was near the car. He had her jewelry. The DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have Phelps. kids, Phelps? He needs to be so. taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. So you're saying that Hugo did it? I don't know it? about this. My gut says Mueller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard. And that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't Mueller. No, he probably killed his wife. Deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something else. You really want to run that risk? Oh! Look, I have my siren on. I didn't do that. You saw nothing.
See, I'm... I'm kind of with Rusty on this one. I... If... If Hugo is the killer... If, that's a big if, because we don't know that. If Hugo's the killer... Then... What I say is... We're gonna figure it out right here. Let's let's keep going. But what I'm saying to you, Mitch, is what I was asking you before. Is like, I'm talking like real life, not video games. Like, do you think that in say a wife gets killed and a husband is a prime suspect, do you think it's, or do you think that since he is a sub, if he is a suspect, do you think it's how many percent of the time do you think it's actually the the husband <laughs> that did it? You know what I mean? Because it's it's tough to it's tough to think of like I mean you and I both know there was a I mean oh, we have a very very small town come from a very very small town there was a murder in our small town so there was a murder in our small town so it's and that was the husband the husband did it so like it's kind of tough to judge on that you know like. We've seen, we've, you and I have seen it front, you know. Yeah, that's 70, 75. I would agree with that. I'm, yeah. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. <sighs> Well, right, and and like I said, in our case, like when you and I, what are the normal? You and I know that, kind of that there was a pile of evidence. I mean, he was boring lines. He literally, correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. See now, like you and I both know that. The person I was talking about. So are we looking for a, a his sailor wife or in a cold blood? Like, well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. We've got to nail this guy. Yeah, down the street, dude. It was down the street. The shoe prints? Size eights. Very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Now, who do we remember who got caught in bloody size eights? I think we have our bird. Okay, if you're finished jawing, we need to get moving. Yeah, down the street, man. Like three houses. It's crazy. I remember that night. I was young too. What's up, dude? Hi. Yep, we're in the car now, aren't we? For those of you that don't under, that don't know what me and uh, Prayer Warrior are talking about, um, I we come from a a very small town. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Party, want to go Party job, that. The 
corners. How so? Well, you don't want them to join their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the Anyways, back to what I was saying. So, for the people that don't know, uh, Per Warrior and I are come from the same small town, and um, there was a murder down the street from my house that I grew up in, and it was actually it was actually our cousin, our cousin, well, our mom's, our mom's cousin got murdered. Or, sorry, our mom's cousin murdered his wife. So, go throw that away, buddy. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the... Are they ready? Molar's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. He ran the light on Olympic. Let's go to two. Let's go to Hugo first. I got the jitters again. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe what? Mm -hmm. It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. We'll try Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? <laughs> I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Well, you just said they were. I mean, dude. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too? It, it, I know, buddy. It died. Why don't you go watch your... Go watch your tablet. Or go watch your TV. Eli Rooney. He's in one. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. And see, I don't like this captain. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? You down on your luck, Eli? I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? 
I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't mm. miss the place. Big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any workwear you like? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. <laughs> you ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tied. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things, and you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. What size boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I get my hands on. I'm wearing 11s. You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? You think I was never punished? You must know what you're doing is evil. Well, son, nobody's perfect. Uh, what do you guys think? Should we charge Eli or charge the husband? So Eli is a suspected child molester, and um, yeah, and he's been he's a parolee. So, and Hugo has with his daughter at home. Stuff like that. Um, what do you think we should charge? I'll leave it up to you guys here, and I'll give it a second here. Let you guys uh, decide what you guys want to do. I'll pause it quick. Eli. Yeah. I think so. I think let's do it. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You don't want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy. You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rat. I ain't a killer. Case closed. Ah, uh, Phelps, Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. I agree. Um, I played this when I was on the 360, so... This is obviously different because it's got this is the remastered version, so they added some stuff in. There's gonna be a lot of vehicle damage. Oh no! Sweet. Um. So yeah, I. I feel like you charged Eli there. 
But yeah, this remaster one Bell. has some other stuff. We kept so. two regular army. Lieutenant! Bell, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. And tell the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rain. I'm in charge here, Medier! Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? No, they're beat. Why they look so sullen? You're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this, Golden Boy. I just seem to know what he's doing. Not to got the no kai so to. Now my all. Now not to cut. Yeah, you and you and I will tell you to hate that. Kiss him, man. None is some dato. Umutarunda. See that, boys? He slapped that jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect. We're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese, Private? With respect, sir. These bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the U.S. of A. and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? Hmm, that kind of sounds like uh, uh, treason, you know? <laughs> Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, it's my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. <sighs> Bin bar. <laughs> Mitch, you still here with me? You have the address? I had six people in here watching Los point. Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys. It's kind of nice to see, like so you know, like. Desk. Yeah, it means they can pop Heck. in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all. Phelps. It's growing, you know. It's growing. It's growing, guys. I only have you. I only have you in here right now, but I. Uh, it's kind of nice to see. Like I had, you know. I had five, six. I had six people in here at one point. Like, they watched me play a. F <laughs> Excuse my French here, but they're watching me play a fucking video game. Like, that's unreal. You know what I mean? Like, you do it because you like to see me succeed, and you're my cousin, and detectives. You know, we're family. We want to we wanna see each other. We want to see each other succeed. But like, it's different when it's like random strangers. You know what I mean? Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you <laughs> when you're ready. The lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Kiss the blood, BD. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. Chew. Oh, excuse me. Under the rubber nails.
The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah, we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. As well, follow, follow the trail. trail. Antonia, huh? Same as the library card. Proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains, no way is this coincidence. I don't know why you can't fix that up. Oh. On it goes. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. got to be a code or a cipher. 50. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. We got a new M.O. I told you it wasn't our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. Trail points up. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. 
What's the significance? Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. once are identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Carter? Come here. Was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we. Should be looking for. Get him? We close the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway, but doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's. confession and you know there's ways of getting those I'm sure Carter Carter! Come here! Wait just a moment! Carter? Carter? Hey. Can you go grab me a beer, buddy? I'm sorry. Yes, please, thank Can you. Can I help you? LAPD, man. It doesn't matter, buddy. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara LaPente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wop your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's you, room buddy. is upstairs, last door on the left. Here. Thank you. you for throwing away we'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Yep, I'm just checking. There you go. Can you throw it away in the white one? Thanks, little buddy. Love you. Carter. There's more in there? Yeah. Oh, bring it here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Thank you. I love you. Will you look at that? A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about Windows, Phelps. All right, here we go. Mrs. Antonio Isabel Maldonado. Parsons Boarding House, blah, blah, blah. Antonio, further my previous correspondence on August 7th, I am ready to inform you that the petition to the Superior Court of the okay, State of California has been accepted and a court date scheduled your case. Doc number 98766 98765 will be around September 17th. Well, baby. Hey, 
Do you want me to charge it? Yeah. Okay, I will. I'm told that your husband and Angel Christopher Maldonado, residing at 304 slash 330 in North Hill Street, Los Angeles, California, has been served with the papers and is on notice of appearing in the Central District Court on the above date, though it is not essential. And many women in your position choose not to do so. I would advise you also to appear at the Central District Court on the scheduled date. In my experience, a woman plaintiff's presence in cases like this. One can do much influence proceedings. If your husband does not appear on September 17th, which you have told me is likely, then it'll kind of help our chances. Sincerely, the lawyer. So she was getting divorced, it looks like. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. What, baby? I will, yep. All right, let's go talk to this old lady. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, a little on the religious side, but a good girl. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. She knows something. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? What, buddy? Colorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. I can't hear you. you gotta come out here and talk to me, okay, buddy? You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. Oh, she's lying about that. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Why would you lie about So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. Yeah. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. What do you need, buddy? We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the Eldorado one. Yup. Yo. Let's go to the Eldorado. What do you think about that? Should we go to the Eldorado bar? Yeah. Okay. A nosy old hag? Ah! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts... 
<laughs> Mouth and off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this. Where's the bar, Daddy? Where's the bar? I don't know. We'll find it. You see it? Play out a thousand times, Carter. Carter. Why don't you want to see a connection Mitch here? Mitch says hi. Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these. <laughs> he says hi. We don't need to go it's almost time for, for him to go under the bed. Pretty, pretty soon. Think there's anything to the divorce nope. angle? I've been through three, though. Huh? No big deal. After a while, pretty soon, yeah. Experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. So what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? I ain't talking. Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Blah. Yep. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? Whereas the 21 did 8th of did August. Did you open them? Petition. Supreme Court is kind no of No need like, to. She was shouting about it and waving the divorced. letter around. Said she was going to show him. Might be divorced from the bonds of matrimony. Oh, yeah. So these are just her divorce papers. Okay. Okay. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. Go, the go wipe your nose. have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. I, Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. I, the closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Back door's open. So, uh, Hi. how's your tuna fish salad? Say, honey, what time do you get off waiting tables? You drove me up to huh? Mulholland and we did some... Hello? Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Fine, thanks. Hmm. Let's go to the Maldonado residence quick. Let's. I don't think we should just pick a plate. How about we drop in on the husband instead? Oh, 
I took a right, took a left. Took a right. See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Oops. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Where is the mailboxes? No mailboxes. Oh, there's gotta be back here, right? Oh. Oh. Aldonado is in apartment 304. 304. Yep. Third floor, I would imagine. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. I got a hundred pounds. I got nothing to say to you. Hell yeah. Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. <laughs> Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I'd kill my own wife? Okay, just hold on, baby. We should get the whole place going over, then talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Just picked fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. All right, the wine. Hmm. The El Dorado. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. Yeah. The bad guys got the other one. Oh, blood on the shirt. This will take some explaining. Oh, God, Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. Got no alibi, you toast. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? 
They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Yeah, buddy. No. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Carter. Shh, baby. It's okay. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Daddy. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. What, baby? Well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now. Finbar. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Any messages? Message from Captain Donnelly, Detective. Your presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A new letter from the Dahlia killer has been found. Thanks. All right, guys. Give me just a second. I will be right back. Give me two seconds. I'm going to go put Carter to bed quick. What? Or should we finish this up? And then we'll go to bed? Should we yeah. finish this and then we'll go to bed? Okay. Never mind. No, no. Let's finish this then we'll go to bed, Okay. He's coming. Go straight over. Straight down. <coughs> Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. You. Cole, come on! What? What happened? Yep. Now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This black down guy. You seen the body? The fucking case just gnaws away at your guts. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end? The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. I want to make homicide. You know you've made it if you can get that desk. Mouthpiece store strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA won't pay. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't <coughs> leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all those fares back 24 hours regardless. Good. 
Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. I've changed That's my... the message from the Celine Henry case. I've changed my mind. You would not give a square. You would not give a square deal. Fuck you, BD. Text. No. Head upon the keep. Carter, upon turn it back soul on. By virtue of this curse. Ill deeds then thou damn beholding good, both infinite as if as is the universe, and thou and thyself torturing solitude and awful image. Okay. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least one hundred years ago. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis, I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Stop. Prometheus Unbound. Stop. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Hey, buddy, you drop something? I want to make homicide. I mean, you know. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. <laughs> oh. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. You're lying, Angel. No. You went after her. I think you killed her. That's not what You're the You're out of your mind. Her brother will tell you I was at home. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, <clears throat> but it's not true. You're okay. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? 
You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not gonna waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm gonna have you charged. My brother, Hippolito. He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Carter, go put your truck away in the playroom, please. What's your read on Maldonado? I still like. Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? Yeah, we'll get to the market and the guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off into the night. This case will be shut like all the others. Body in this officer needs help. 415 and shots fired. 313 Bunker Hill Avenue. 313 Bunker Hill Avenue. Unit to handle code 3. This is 11K. We'll handle the 415. 11K, Why don't you come on out, Jimmy? I won't let them hurt you. Not my honey boy. I told you not to call me that woman. Now shut the hell up. You shut the hell up. Is that the lady of the house? It's a nice story. Two old lovebirds just moved in together, but they had a falling out and he chased her across the yard with a 12 gauge. Now it's him or us. Get the bastard! Oh! <laughs> Whoops! What? Shot a cop. Whoopsies. I didn't do that. You know, <laughs> you guys didn't see that. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. We can take it if you want, or not. Not the only cops in this town. Why don't you come on out, Jimmy? I won't let them hurt you. Not my honey boy. Not my honey boy. I told you not to call me that woman. Now shut the hell up. You shut the hell up. Is that the lady of the house? It's a nice story. Two old lovebirds just moved in together. But they had a falling out, and he chased her across the yard with a 12 gauge. Now it's him or us. Get 
the bastards. Officer down! Give yourself up! Now! You're a cop, killer! Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. That was bad. I just need to kill him right away. And he's back. I want to leave that one to the uniform, that's fine. Why don't you come on out, Jimmy? I won't let them hurt you. Not my honey boy. I told you not to call me that woman. Now shut the hell up! You shut the hell up! Is that the lady of the house? It's a nice story. Two old lovebirds just moved in together. But they had a falling out, and he chased her across the yard with a 12 See if I can stop this guy now from dying. Now. And I don't really care, but... Get the bastard! Officer down! Give yourself up! Now! Wine, look at him. You're a cop killer! Honey boy! What have they done to you? Honey boy! Mitch, you back in here? I did not do that. Move over, little dog, cause a big dog moving in. You walked through a pole there, pal. The handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Sir, I'm the... Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? 
Did you happen to see a young woman last night, 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? <sighs> she was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Why cut someone who was already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. You must have seen it during the war. I just don't know how to dance the bebop. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Two, five, three. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! God damn it, get after him, Cole! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. You should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Strange that he gave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Hit 
Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. I'll try to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind him that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that Jap loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? Before this starts, I'll be right back. I'm going to go put Carter to bed quick. I'll be right back.
All right. <clears throat> Thank you guys for wait waiting. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. That's the cop in the newspaper. I think he's a bit of a ganguero. But, three, two. Greetings from sunny California. When's it gonna stop? Go up the hill, turn left. A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love of fat, Phelps. As long as the bricks. San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer. Still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on the record are giving you a reputation. You don't want to bring in your own fault. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows maketh the man, folks. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Any century unit a possible 415 at Alvera Street Plaza, unit and code 3. You're crazy. Well, I'm crazy. It's your fault. Running around behind my back. How am I supposed to trust you, goddammit? Whoa, sir. I think you ought to calm down. Mind your own goddamn business. Why is everybody always on my case? Watch it! Give it up, old man! <sighs> Car 11K. Code 4 at Alvera Street, but I'll need an ambulance. Shots fired, and suspect is down. Roger on the ambulance, 11 King. All units be advised, Code 4 at the Alvera Street Plaza.
That guy there will lead us up. I'm stealing myself from what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body, Burn. It used to sing like a big man working homicide. Detectives, Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Seeing secure, the rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, Detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Another day, another no drag problem. marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. <laughs> Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt. Horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? <laughs> I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior 
Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks, ma'am. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy. That's what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? At least the rain stopped. We can change back into those white bucks now. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case and one of your laundry labels came up. F-1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? Mrs. T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Terrelson? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss.
I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think this that... procedure. You see to your girls. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. You wanna hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a mission first. Before to check if she was a regular. I wonder why the picture was turned down. If you'd excuse me, ladies. This doesn't pertain to the case. So she went out without her handbag? She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. At least she was spared that particular indignity. match the impression of the crime scene. Lars was out in the rain last night. match with the ligature marks. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks for your help. For the record, Mr. Terrelson, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. Can't be anyone who knew her. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bowline from your boat is a perfect match. Look, I know this looks bad. 
But I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. You're lying, Lars. There's a wet coat. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <sighs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's. But nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Terrelson. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to broads, you'll be given in to them your entire life. Sounds like the Terrelson broad had her last drink at Baron's Bar. We should check the place out. Appreciate your time, sir. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. Gents, drink? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. On foot? In a car? By bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. I can't decide between the tuna fish and the chicken. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? 
I get plenty of bums in here, but nothing to fit that description. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her, promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And yeah, she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Clough. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates. That's him. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. You can't let the son of a bitch get away. Cherry pie was Go, Phelps, get after him. Come on, we got a ride. Get in and drive. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. Go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. All right, all right, you got me. I've had enough. Give it up, LAPD. Damn, he flipped like four times. Okay, Bates, you're gonna answer some questions. I have a choice in this. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead, and your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to know. She was okay, drunk, pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy, able seaman, has information relevant to your case. 
Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thank you. So we put up APB out. Car 11K, we have a response on your APB regarding yellow cab number 3591. The vehicle has been identified at a gas station. Now heading west on 7th Street. Garage on 7th Street. Let's hit it, Phelps. The cab driver might tie this whole thing together. I hope you're right. You see our taxi anywhere? Where's that cab got to now? 11K, yellow cab number 3591, sighted in the corner of Wilshire and Whitmer. Repeat, Wilshire and Whitmer, 11K. 3591, that's him there, Phelps. Hit the siren. LAPD, we're investigating a murder. What's that got to do with me? The fare you picked up from Baron's bar last night. What was the woman wearing? It's a green dress. Oh, don't tell me something's happened to her. Tell me about her. She was with this sailor, and he was all over her. She wasn't having any of it. Said she just wanted to dance. But he had that look in his eye. Where did you drop them off? He said the Crystal Ballroom. What time? After midnight. 12.30? Something like that. Thanks. You've been a big help. Well, that's going to ruin my day.
He's in interview two. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Door knock and all morning. Detectives Felton and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. You went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. Where did you go after the Crystal Ballroom? Well, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab, and I caught a bus back to the base. We spoke to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the Crystal Ballroom. I'd had enough. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She, she looked old. Left around closing, maybe 1.30. Got on a bus, and she fell asleep on my shoulder. Which bus? An all-American, 249. I went past her place. She jumped off, and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. The Indiana's down there. She's being scrapped. And that was the last you saw of Teresa? Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. The cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's not how I'd put it. So the last thing you wanted was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah. It did. She knew what a guy's looking for. All broads do. Dancing comes second. And what happened at the Crystal Ballroom? Nothing. Not even a little hand relief. She had another couple of drinks. There was no fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. What now? Drive all the way to San Pedro and check his locker? Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. Let's go to the bus depot. That hobo could be. Three suspects in the can and... Still no hard evidence on any of them. KGPL to car 11K. 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Patrolman reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. 11K, roger that. Only have time to get downtown, Cole. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, could we have Lars Carrollson picked up?
And thank you, ma'am. You have a safe trip now. Where are you boys headed today? LAPD. We're after the driver of All American 249. Would have been around midnight onwards last night. Uh, just a minute. Frank Zeffirelli. He's your man. Where can we find him? Frank is out on the 7 4. Can you tell us the route? Hang on. Uh, I'm. Should have it mapped out here somewhere. I'll need to run the loop. Oh, we're not going to drive the whole thing, are we? Won't take long. We have a siren. American 74, let's go get him. Uh, this could be a long trip, Cole. Or it could be a short one. And here's me without my hip flask and only a pain in the ass for company. Way to kick off the drive in high spirits, Rusty. Comments like that put me in just the right mood for some legwork. Touchy. You know what your problem is? You don't like hard work. This kind of rigorous search is what police work is all about. Discipline. Save it, Phelps. You're just as bored as I am. Still no sign of him. Did you doze off, Rusty? I think you slept through my solving the case. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You just give me a nudge if you see him, right? How about you nudge me? I think that's a job for your wife. Oh, Rusty. See that. How long is this bus route? It actually covers an area around the size of Central Division. 
The probability is we'll find it about halfway around. Bad luck says we'll be chasing it all night. That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. There's some kind of problem, buddy? LAPD, we're investigating a murder. You had a sailor and a woman in a green dress on your bus late last night? That's correct. And the woman got off first, around 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's right. And the sailor stayed on all the way to downtown. Can you tell us where you let the woman off? On California Street. To tell you the truth, she looked a little lost, like she got off on the wrong stop or something. I didn't like dropping her off near that hobo camp. You've been a big help, Mr. Zeffirelli. So Sailor Boy escaped by the seat of his bell-bottom trousers. Left, Left her by the hobo camp. Which means he's as good as killed her. We can't eliminate any of them, but the disfigured man should be our starting point. call for some backup. These bows hate cops. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. LAPD, we'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. We need you to stay copacetic. We need to hold out for the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. One shot to keep you down, bro. If you want your, your disciples rifle know what share, you did last night, we need to fight for it. <laughs> What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it, see what you find. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. 
Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts. And they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying. And that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. I'd say, Court, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Looks familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrellson's chin. husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession and we can charge the bum with murder. this way. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government 
puts weight like that on a man's shoulders. You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Why did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. You hate women, Ackerman? More than you could ever imagine. How much did you hate Mrs. Terrelson? I ache to put my seed in them. Afterwards, I have no use for them. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Where were you around 2 a.m. last night? At the camp. You were up on the hill. You were seen during the day. We have a witness. We have evidence. Come clean with me, Ackerman, and I'll see what I can do for you. I despise your pity. You have nothing that links me to this woman. We have you cold, Ackerman. Her purse and the ballroom ticket were in your lean-to. Tell us why you did it. I kill because people need killing. It's what I was trained to do. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. <laughs> A man down on his luck, I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And the grand results you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. You just getting home? Give me, give me just one second. Uh. I'm gonna go check, check in Carter. four games.